Hi everyone, welcome to our video on stages of having a crush. Crushes are something that most of us have experienced at some point in our lives. But what exactly is a crush, and why does it happen? And more importantly, how can we deal with it when it does happen? In this video, we'll explore all of these questions and more. So let's get started. What is a crush? First, let's start with the basics. What exactly is a crush? Well, a crush is a feeling of intense attraction towards someone. It can be someone you know in real life, or it can be a celebrity, a character in a movie or book, or even a random stranger you see on the street. A crush can be based on physical attraction, personality traits, or a combination of both. Why do crushes happen? So why do crushes happen? Well, there's actually a scientific explanation for it. When you have a crush on someone, your brain releases chemicals like dopamine and oxytocin, which make you feel happy, excited, and giddy. This is why you might feel like you're on cloud 9 when you're around your crush. Your brain also goes into overdrive, trying to analyze every little detail about the person you're attracted to, which is why you might find yourself daydreaming about them, obsessing over their social media profiles, or even stalking them, not recommended. Stages of having a crush Now let's talk about the stages of having a crush. There are usually four stages. Stage 1, Infatuation This is when you first start noticing someone and feel a spark of attraction towards them. You might find yourself thinking about them more often, and getting nervous or excited when you're around them. Stage 2, The Crush This is when your feelings become stronger and more intense. You might start fantasizing about being in a relationship with him, and feeling jealous or possessive when they talk to other people. Stage 3, The Reality Check This is when you start to realize that your crush might not be as perfect as you thought they were. You might notice flaws or red flags that you didn't see before, and start to question whether or not they're really the right person for you. Stage 4, Moving On This is when you accept that your crush might not be the right person for you and start to move on. You might still have feelings for them, but you're able to focus on other things and people in your life. How to deal with a crush Finally, let's talk about how to deal with a crush. Here are some tips. Tip 1, be honest with yourself. Acknowledge your feelings and try to understand why you're attracted to this person. Is it just physical attraction, or do you genuinely like their personality and values? Tip 2, don't obsess over them. It's easy to get caught up in your thoughts and feelings about your crush, but try to remember that they're just a person. Don't spend all your time stalking them on social media or trying to find ways to be around them. Tip 3, focus on yourself. Use this time to focus on yourself and your own personal growth. Pursue your hobbies, spend time with friends and family, and work. So there you have it the stages of having a crush and some tips on how to deal with it. Remember, having a crush is a normal part of life, but it's important to keep things in perspective and not let it consume you. At the end of the day, the most important relationship you have is with yourself, so focus on being the best version of yourself that you can be. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.